Premiere's open. We got a blank project open. Let's come up to Add Media, Files and Folders. This time, go into Movie Menu and pick up these four right here and click Import. Now, we're going to talk about here making a movie menu. We're going to bring it up again in the last chapter when we talk about this stuff up here. But let's talk about how you might put together a menu. Now, I've got four time lapse images. And I'll tell you what, to save time, they're all selected. Let's just drag it once, bring it down. Okay, there they are. Now, let's close this out. The one thing I want to kind of like emphasize here is that in order to make a really good menu, before you actually go into tools, and this is the last thing that we haven't covered in Tools, is Movie Menu, is basically you need to add markers. Well, just like any movie, when do you want people to have a marker to go to a different place? So what we'll do is I'm going to hold down my Shift key, and then I can drag right to that point right there. I'm going to go into my markers, and this is a menu marker. Set menu marker. Actually, wait a minute, I think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Let's move to the first video here. And actually, let's click this button right here so we can see all four of them. So now, let's go to Markers and Menu, Set Menu. You have three. You have a Scene Marker, a Main Menu Marker, and a Stop Marker. We're on the Scene Marker right now. And they create a link for the scene on the Scenes Menu. And we'll call this one Matterhorn. I guess that's what it is. Now again, we can do Scene, Main Menu, or Stop. Scene markers will all be on the screen for all of our scenes. The Main Menu is the first one that comes up on a DVD, if you want to put something there. Stop markers will stop you and send you back to the Main Menu. Now in a movie, that's probably not what you're going to do. Because in a movie, you want to play the whole thing. You don't want to constantly go back to the Main Menu and play another scene. But if you're doing, say, like Lessons, and you're teaching Adobe Premiere Elements, and at the end of the lesson, you want to go back to the Main Menu, you use that one. We're just going to do scene markers. So we've got that as a scene marker. Motion menu button is really cool because you can animate your buttons with part of the movie. So if I say I want that as a motion menu button, and I come over here and say give it about two or three seconds, that means it's going to loop and keep going around. The menu button will actually be animated. We'll do that one. Click OK. I'm going to hold my shift key down so I can snap right to the next one. Markers, Menu Marker, Set Menu Marker. And this is, I guess, Desert. Put one more S in there, it's a dessert. Scene Marker, mm, we won't do this one as a motion. Although if you do one, you should do them all. Click OK. Shift Drag. And this one is, well, it's water. Let's do this. My titles just kind of grab at your throat, don't they? And we can leave everything else alone. And one more shift, drag right here. No, oh, that's water too, but that's a lake or a river. We'll say river. Come over here for markers. Now you will notice each marker has its own type of icon on it right here. And what that means obviously is what they are. So you know what they are over here. Let's take this one up here and we'll call it river. A river runs through it. Click OK. I'm going to go to the end. Now I need a stop marker to take it back to the main menu. Return to menu. Click OK. OK, we've got our markers, but now we need our menu. So let's go into Tools and go into Movie Menu. This is kind of where the fun starts, because you've got a lot of options, just like anything else in this program. There's just a lot of stuff going on. Memories, movie genre. Let's go movie genre. See what we got. I mean, look at all this stuff. These are the titles. Now, I'm thinking, let's do this one down here. It's Western. Click Continue. Why? I don't know. Now, it's going to download the content. Could take a bit, so let's cut. We'll come back when it downloads. Okay, that didn't actually take as long as I thought it would. Only took a couple of minutes. But now that we're here, we have things like our menu background. Now you can put in a different one if you want to. We'll kind of leave it the way it is. 
If we drag our own in, we can make it animated right here if you want to do that. Let's go ahead and drag that down a little bit. You could add audio. Sometimes that's cool. Sometimes that's annoying if they keep playing the audio over and over again until they get into the movie. So I would say try it. You know, if you don't like it, you can always take it out. The duration. Now we're going to leave everything actually at what the defaults are. You have motion menu buttons, and we're basically going to use these items. It already knows about those because we set it up to actually be the buttons that are going to be over here. So if we like what we see, and hey, what's not to like? You can go up to this button right here to preview the disk. Now, if you click that button, you're going to, well, you're going to see something like this. Now, you have an exit button down here, but these buttons do work. This is what someone would see if they're watching this on their DVD. And here's our scene selection. Now notice it went blurry for a second. There's a lot of processing going on here to make this work and pretend it's a DVD. It won't have this problem when you're actually running it as a DVD. But as you can see, we do have an animated button up here, a motion button. You get all this really cute stuff. You want to go to one of them, just click the button. Now, don't forget, the only stop button we have is at the very end of the whole thing. So if we let this play through, it would go to the next, to the next, to the next. See, it's going to the next. I think this is the last one. And once it gets done with this one, because we put a stop there, it should take us back to the main menu. There it goes. So to me, putting a movie together, let's exit out of here for now. Putting a movie together requires a lot of thought up front on how you want it organized. Now you'll notice we have a scenes menu here. Now the scenes menu gets the same control as what you saw over here. You can change audio, change the background, you can do just about anything you want to. But I think the most important thing to remember for a good organized menu is to set up these things up front. Now we're going to talk a lot more about what we just did here in the last chapter when we actually make a DVD. But I wanted to show you this because it's actually pretty easy to work with. You have a ton of choices on what you want and you can modify them if you want to with your own audio and your own video. Now if you're happy with it, you can click the done button right here. You can reset the whole thing right here. And then you can move on to the process of actually making the DVD. So in this case, you don't have to save this one.